Commitment 2022. Early voting started today in two local counties, including our biggest, Orange County, with nearly 860,000 registered voters. With the primary just two weeks from tomorrow, West Street News political reporter Greg Fox explains this is one way to avoid crowds at precincts on Election Day. Early voting for the primary election in Orange and Osceola counties is, for many voters, all about saving time. It's a lot better than waiting in line on Election Day. And about choices. The options are a good thing to have. Convenient for you too? Convenient. With some, voting in person validates their rights as electors. We actually got the mail-in ballots, but uh, we feel more responsible about walking in and actually casting our votes in person. And with others, it's about serving a genuine need. Because we're going to be out of town on Election Day, and that gives us flexibility. Congresswoman Val Demings made sure to vote early, given her hectic travel schedule as she tries to unseat Senator Marco Rubio. On this first day of early voting, Democrats are outpacing Republicans in turnout by two to one in Orange County. And already nearly 30,000 vote by mail ballots have been returned in Orange. The supervisor says, however you want to cast a ballot, just do it. Get out and vote your ballot. Be prepared, know uh, what, where your polling place is or know where the early voting sites are and use your sample ballot. Under the new state law, mail ballot drop boxes are only located at early voting sites and available only during those hours. As early voting and vote by mail become more and more popular, you're going to see fewer and fewer people voting on Election Day, and that could be a taxpayer savings. Fewer precincts, fewer poll workers. In Orange County, Greg Fox, Washington News. And Lake County begins early voting on Thursday and the rest of Central Florida on Saturday. There's still time to request a vote by mail ballot.